Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with the Total War mod. And before we get going, of course, you can hit that subscribe button if you want to stay around to watch more of this. But also, those uh, many of you who are subscribed, just an announcement. This should be going up before it. I will be live again at... Excuse me, just drinking a Coke here. Um... On Slytherin's um, Twitch channel this coming Thursday at 6 p.m. GMT starting for at least a two-hour stream continuing the strategic command game that we have going we're in 41 invading the Soviet Union just love anybody who come by um, say hi really appreciate those who did and a few of you were extremely helpful and all that now, um, one of the, earlier today, one of the um, uh, Total War people replied to um, a very recent um, episode here with, I'm very picky. Yes, I am. And, and I think it was talking about the, the French event with the nuclear whatever that I'm still not sure whether that's a Total War event, a Black Ice event, or a standard Hearts of Iron event, but I just don't quite honestly know. But, um, and I replied to him and I, and whether he or other Black Ice, or Black, um, Total War people watch this, I'm not picking on you guys. And I, you know, um, I know, and you know, as he said, um, we just haven't had time to get everything done, and I totally understand that. But I am a beta tester, and I, oh, let me read. Um, yeah, I very well may still have Panzer ones. Um, only my channel that buffers. All others are fine. It seems that you pissed off some of the Twitch devs. Uh oh. Hmm. Because I'm pretty near a major um, internet spine, and um, as well as one of Twitch's ingest hubs, where you know they they take, and as well as YouTube, they have both have Los Angeles based um, uh, pl places where you upload the streaming video. And so, like, if you're in, I don't know, the state of Minnesota, there isn't a Twitch or a YouTube local service. So you've got to bounce your, you know, internet bouncing your way across the internet to some other state, maybe across the two or three states, to finally get an uploading thing into their service. So I'm pretty much on the spine, so I don't know that it's me. I don't know why mine would be more than others' Twitch stuff, so I don't know. But back to this stuff. Um, and so, you know, they just haven't get everything done. And I, I, I get that. But, you know, I'm a beta tester. Yeah, I'm also a modder. And I gave, gave Panzeru's Black Ice um, a hard critical look whenever I played it. Okay, Tippett's been... And maybe I should poke them on an Australian. And you're in Western Australia, right, Tippett? Just because maybe I need to point that out because that could be affecting things. Maybe your weaker allies like Bulgaria. Well, we'll see how many we have. Okay, good to know, Arno. And so I like a lot of um, what I've been seeing in Total War, almost to the point of maybe liking it better than Black Ice. Now the thing that's still sort of Pissing me off is this. Hey, um, XT Sniper, good to see you. Is this um, very unrealistic thing hap that happened down here? And one of the comments that was posted, I maybe below a video or something. Yeah, they all the the AI always seems to pick this 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 version of things happening as sort of like it's not meant to. The AI picks exactly what you tell it to pick as a modder. If you tell it to, you know, um, that 
um, if you give it one option for an event, it'll pick that one option. So like, do you want to blow up your capital? And there's, you know, a box that says yes, and that's the only option. It'll pick yes. It'll pick whatever the one option. If there's um, two or more options, you're supposed to tell it which one to do. Um, so you can have two options or six options, and you can tell it which one to pick. And it can be a random choice, and that random choice can be weighted. So like a 10% of this to pick this one, 50% to pick, pick this choice, 20% to pick another choice, you know. So if you want to randomize something like this a little bit, you can, and you can, you know, you can make it a 50-50, or you can make it 100%. So this, to me, just really is, which also makes me fear what the hell else is unhistorical. And so, like, I really, really don't mean to pick on them, but I... I do this with all mods, with Black Eye, I mean with Hearts of Iron 4 or any other game. You know, how much have I picked on um, Strategic Command for, um, you know, stacking and other things. And so I, I'm just maybe hypercritical on all of it. And I don't excuse things just because, hey, it's a mod and it's all volunteer and... That's all true, but the still I look at the quality of that. So that's just sort of my side of it. It has a lovely net just I mean spits about my yeah, sniper house like I'm just reading the chat here, people. I had buffering a couple of times in War Thunder, but all fine now. Excellent, good to hear. Okay, um just so you guys know, as of like two years ago when I, when I went to TwitchCon and talked to some of the now they didn't don't think remembered my name to sort of come after me so I don't think it was anything like that because it, I had some really friendly talks with a couple of the Twitch devs at least at that time they were very highly US centric I think like 80% of their viewers at that time were, were US centered and they were talking at least in one of their um, talks about trying to expand overseas you know to other other regions so I know they have wanted to get better um, connectivity out there and so uh, you know I, I it's all just money you know it's gonna cost them so yeah we've talked enough about this let's let's try to move this forward and um, you may prefer that I'm on YouTube, and in a way I would prefer to be too, but I've got to keep multiple platforms. I can't let my digital footprint to just be a single, dependent on a single company. However good things may be with that company at this time. Okay, well, um, let's do decryption. Let's get to see what the enemy is sending to each other. Okay, let's also, since we're getting ready for the war, and we have a lot of political power. I'm not going to say for sure too much, but a whole lot. Okay, um... Schroner was a bastard. He was a oh, what was what did one general call him? Oh, I forget one German general. Uh, he liked executing his troops, like if they found somebody asleep at sentries or what, and he was really harsh on his troops. Good general in the sort of combat sense, but not not who you really want to have commanding your units hmm well since we're getting enough of that let's see bomber interception close air support I'm gonna do bomber interception now let's come over here 
Ground support, that would sort of help Night Ops. Favor, I think, is dead, yes. So you can do this kind of thing. You can have... I'm not going to change it here, but you can have somebody like Scorzini, who obviously is, was never a general and would not be in the military high command, but if you were going to put him, I would put him towards the end of the war. Um... Especially as seeing, I would be very, very reluctant to put SS um, people into this situation because this is military high command and there basically were no military high command SS personnel at all. I know he's the famous commando in Germany, but there are others. Um, uh, oh, um... Uh, what's it? Uh, Hippel, von Hippel. He's the guy who creates the, and who, who if you're going to do this, because you want to do special forces, it'd be Von Hippel. And um, he's the one that, that creates the, um, the German, the, the Brandenburgers. He creates the, the, the Brandenburgers and, and does the, commands the early operations. But um, you can easily have something like this that has a, um, a condition that says, uh, you know, not is not dead or whatever, but it is you know needs to have like a year date or some event happening, just to do that. But and so some of these way early, we're gonna do goring, just so that we do have some ground support. Now, basically, it's probably between capital ship attacks and commerce rating efficiency. Um, yeah, we're gonna put Carl Dunnitz in charge. For the fun of it. There we go. Okay, Azad, sorry, sorry you're having trouble. Yeah, I don't know if restarting would help, but it's definitely something to try. Railway network, great. Okay, that opens up all of these, which I was going to do. Um... radio equipment so which one of these might affect radio equipment imagery equipment amphibia um, I don't know that any of these would maybe it's I will try that one first Okay, so currently we are doing pretty good for um, fuel and pretty good for rubber, though these are going to go away. So construction, we've got two more, which um, six rubber. So let's um, three more. Let's do three more. Three more synthetic rubber plants to make up for what we'll lose once we go to war here. And I was also asked recently if... Um, Hearts of Iron 4 Black Ice is as good as Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice, you know, the, the two games together. And I said it's going to take a few years for that because if we were playing uh, Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice, we'd be having, a, even without Third Reich events, we'd be having a lot more events pop up, a lot more things to do. I know I could blast it a little bit faster, which I probably should at this point. Okay, trade with friend. It was terminated due to low trade influence. Okay, so um, that means we are probably needing um, rubber here. So let's increase things with the Dutch. And 
one thing I really love that um, trade influence here can be separated out from um, uh, other diplomatic um, likings here because what I use that for is when Italy starts I have you know, when the game starts for Italy I have all of the League of Nations um, nations uh, get a massively bad trade influence which stops Italy from trading with any current member of the League of Nations um, to reflect the embargoes that were put on Italy during the invasion of Somalia which had already sort of happened at the start of 36 and they go away um, via an event once um, Ethiopia is conquered but while it's going Italy is under a massive trade restriction this which starts through a change, series of chains of events it getting closer to Germany because Germany is one of the few powers that aren't a member of the League of Nations so they can trade with Italy Okay, let's, well, first let's look. Okay, we need radio equipment. We need transport vehicles, support equipment. But it looks like radio equipment, is, well, trucks are, ah, they're the biggest. Okay, so let's come here. We need to build radios. Um, we'll do three factories once we can. Okay, you brought effort. Okay, so we've got the U-boat effort. Good, we're paused, yeah. Uh, trade introduction, which is nice, but um, in U-boat bunker, it eh, could be cool. Um, we don't want to do Danziger war until we're ready for war, and that's only seven days. Oh, and we, of course, want to do this a little before. 35, eh, but we're, we're going to wait till spring... Because we should be able to take down Poland in spring and France in, um, I think U-boat bunker means U-boat pens, I'm presuming. You know, the big concrete pens. Now, most of the concrete pens that I know of, again, I'm not saying they didn't exist, but I was, um, oh, what's our, is it this thing? Um, MIFO bills, there's a lot here. Yeah, we'll make, we'll do this right now. Um. I just noticed here, controlling, um, well, has organization tote. Yeah, they're the one of the primary builders. Hanover, Slash, Sweet, Holstein, and Wesser M's. Um, for, you need to have that. But I think most of the U-boat pens, at least the ones that I know of, again, I'm not saying there weren't there. I just don't know of any there. There were um, sort of here and down here. Um, oh, and they also built some some in Norway, I believe, too. But I could be wrong about any of that, but I don't think so. I'm guessing that that's what that means. Is um, you know, concrete. Okay, reduce steel by two, but increase output of oil. Ooh, 14 in Lower Austria. Wow. That's a lot of oil down there. Bohemia. Mm, just wondering about things. What do they say here? Um, okay. Nothing more about that. Naval patrol. Yes. Increase our offensive capability. Yeah, we'll do that. I know I already sort of picked all of the command slots, but we're earning enough to switch to something else. If we're going to get that. Okay. Um, hmm. Destroyers, subs, subs, 
convoys. We've got a lot of convoys. We've maxed out on that. Let's see. Um, no. Um, fuel's coming in the next um, DLC, or I presume free upgrade. I qu don't quote me whether it's um, the free upgrade or the DLC. I'm thinking it's the free upgrade that's coming out with man the guns and then any more details you can look at the um uh de dev diary on it i don't want to go into that again i might say something wrong but i know fuel's coming uh... well do we make Bigger ships. Yeah, some light cruisers. Okay, so that's only three. But what I think we're going to do here is um, plus that out to complete whatever is currently in production and do that. Yeah, um, they're definitely, we definitely got fuel coming though we don't have we have supply effects in this game and this is what people know so i'm very careful what i say we have supply effects meaning if you um go to a terrain area that you know um in the mountains where it's too hard to supply and you put a you know two army groups here it's going to starve or you get cut off you're going to starve so you do have supply effects but you do not have supply as a thing you produce or a thing that you specifically consume Obviously, we've also had fuel effects, but thank God we're going to get rid of all of these oil for production, basically, can go away. Um, I don't know if there's really any, you know, lubricating oil consumed in the manufacturing, which there's quite a bit that's consumed in ma machine tool manufacturing. Keep the tools running and everything lubed up. Um, so they do burn oil in making stuff, but all that can go away. And this is going to mean everybody's got to redo all of their, their specialty mods basically to get rid of all of this fuel. And fuel will become a thing on the map that is consumed. Don't think you have to move it or transport it, meaning I don't think you, you know, I think it, it'll be determined whether it's in supply for fuel like it is now, I think. I, quite, I can say that because I don't specifically remember. Um, but I think it's that. Um, but you will um, have something that needs to be consumed. Okay, we need to trade for more oil. Romania, Soviet Union. Well, we're getting close to war, so let's let's go. No, just to eight. I don't mind a negative of one. Um, Sweden, we're maxed out. Turkey, let's see if we can up that. A little bit more. Hello, Armageddon Apocalypse. Good to see you. Okay, so we've got Conf Group A. Um, okay, we need to get this technology is mutually exclusive with this. Need to get radio to go because we want to go down Blitz Creek. We don't want to go down. Not that this is bad, but I want to go down this. So we need to get um, artillery radio. And I do like this aspect of the game that they're tying some of the because there is absolutely no point in not pushing down this tree. But definitely some of this stuff. It is dependent upon having radios and things like that, so. I do like that. Dockyards, okay. Now, because we ended at the last production of 
transports, you know, these convoys, I guess I should say, maybe a bit more specifically. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to do coastal. Uh, well, let's do another line of, or partial line of destroyers in operation there and okay um got all of that let's get these going more submarines well we've got a bunch coming air bases um yeah we'll take the 20 percent uniform boots and helmets Well, okay, we got to do this one first, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, okay, we're getting to December, but still gives us some time. Before, because we got 30, well, no, here, um, 35 plus 7 to do to get to war. Um, so we might as well. You should, so, so this is what I, because of my tendency to rush down that um, event tree here, this is now mostly useless unless it's simply to unlock this. 42 days, or unlock this, so, yeah. Um... Kroner, okay, yeah, we'll go with that. And so if you really sort of, shall we say, play the... Oh, we want to put you... We want to get you guys over to here. I believe that's what I had planned for you. The structure works. Very good. Let's come over here and do automotive factories. Yeah, no, they've done a good job. Um, I can quibble with things, most assuredly, because I can quibble, with, like I was saying, with a lot of things. But um, I like that they've tied it to it. And so, like, if you really sort of know know this tech tree, tech tree, well, yeah, um, well along with the national focus tree well that you can sort of wait a bit on researching the conf group a in the in the tech tree wait to get this you know because i because I, quite honestly i hadn't read this far down on it because i was just reading what i had available not to where i wanted to go so had i known to do this you know paid enough attention i could have made sure i got this national focus before because if I want to get this bonus here for the, the next three down, I would still need to do this. So whether I want to take the time to do this or not, I don't know. I would definitely very much consider doing this if um, I hadn't yet gotten this, because it obviously would give me the research bonus, um, allow me to research something else quicker. So um, you sort of need to know it to play it well. Not a criticism, it's just sort of, you know, the basic fact of... Building factories in the east away from bombing. Hi, Toy Jet. Uh, no. For Wesser Bung. Um, go north, take Oslo, basically. Um, not a um, 
whole lot got uh, let's um add oh, let's get to the right one here add these to this general the obviously um, what's his name here um uh uh Witzelblum is going to command the invasion of Denmark and we have um Deedal here with a much larger force uh, than was historically used to see about going into Norway. So that's um, something well I could well mm, uh, uh, I think I can do all of those. There we go. That's a good plan to do this now so that I get the 35 days needed planning out of the way. And again, we're waiting just for maybe a bit more summer for going for Norway as opposed to you know there's no point in going to war right now France isn't getting that materially stronger um, Poland isn't getting that materially stronger so we're not really you know some people very much are like hey invade while they're weaker yeah well one do we even need to um, worry about their strength is another question of course um, now, I brought my former Austrians over here because they are, um, you can see you're cold acclimatized. And I figured they might be good, of course, going for Norway, but if they're sort of here, maybe they're going to form the initial, um, you know, watch the Soviets here, and then maybe form the northern push here um, into the Soviets. You, yes, I know I, I do. We need to build more um, things. Let's see. How are we doing for radars? We should do more of that. There we go. Not that I don't want more production factories. I do, of course, but let's get the radar looking good. I've also done a fair amount of work on getting, well, not so much these guys right now. We just have, um, you know, air defense. Um, over here, we have a lot of offensive type aircraft for going after Poland, which a lot of these guys will be shifting west. Okay, artillery expansion, research bonus for artillery, modernized support weapons and equipment. 56, 38, Officer, Office of Armament and Defense Technology, Grand Ruthless Pragmatist. I gotta look into who this George Thomas is. Quite honestly, I've never heard the name before. At least I don't remember ever hearing the name. Maybe it's mentioned in Spears' book or something. I just don't remember it. Um... Yeah, January. So I'm looking at April, maybe, um, declaring war. Two researches, light tank model, Sturmgeschütz has... Panzer House E. Okay, I like that. That you have to have the basic tank model. Um, as a prerequisite. Just trying to learn this here. Ooh, ooh, thirty-five days. I mean, this just to me is like, yeah, yeah. Um, 
35 days, four military factories. Uh, I don't know how I can say no. I have the time. Because I'm uh, infrastructure more than other things. Okay, so, and then let's, let's encrypt our mail. Our communications. And I think we're going to end this episode. Not to stream, guys, on Twitch. We're just going to be ending this episode here. For those watching later on YouTube, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the videos, if you would. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And, of course, I love your comments, um, critiques, criticisms, corrections. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.